All right, y'all, we're doing it. Electronicious Zytico by Der Zyklist. <laughs> It's really sweet. As is often done in some Drexia stuff and stuff Gerald has touched, he's gonna start by having the drums just rise in. That's it. Sorry for the interruption. I just want to say thank you real quick to everyone who subscribed so far. The channel's been growing a lot quicker and it's very exciting. And I just want to reintroduce myself. I'm Alex Wilcox. I am the label head and lead content creator at Response. We're a record label and YouTube channel based out of Detroit, Michigan. And uh, yeah, just want to say hello and thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe, follow on Instagram. Yeah, uh, links in the description for all of that. And uh, okay. Back to the track real quick. I just wanted to note that Der Zyklus is a project of Gerald Donald, who's one of two members of Drexia. And so because of that, you're gonna notice some similarities in the constructions of this track with Drexia tracks. So yeah. All right, back to the video. Thank y'all. Please subscribe, follow on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Email me if you want the MIDI files. It's in the description. All right, bye. Right away, they're gonna start laying down the foundation melodically with this bass line. It's a very simple bass line. It's establishing the feel of the song by letting us know that we have four bar cycles to deal with. You can see there's a lot of patience here. They're very confident in this drum loop, so they're just letting it ride. It's going for a while. That looks like about 20 bars. But don't worry, something's gonna come. So we get these gorgeous chords. Now, I'm a big fan of these. It's it's just it just gives this track such a vibe. Like these chords are just kind of they're just floating around, very spacey, very cool, very beautiful. So that's eight bars of those chords happening. There might be a slight modification on this last part. Let's see. No, so this is maybe a sample because it seems like they played the keys the exact same way. You'll notice at one point how at the end it goes doo doo. At some points later on, they don't go doo doo, it just goes doo. But yeah, so basically uh, we have this four bar loop of the chords that are also working with this four bar loop of the bass. And the combination of the two is just really amazing. And therefore we're just gonna keep listening to it and it's gonna be tight. So notice here, it didn't go bear do, it just went versus. So this is cool because since we're having a simple loop repeating, it's nice to get even just a little bit of variation. Um, and that's what we're getting here. All right. Did you hear that? We had a little fizzy sound happen. I find this sound really interesting because, I mean, it is playing some sort of a pitch. It sounds like it's a But I feel like it's more important role is it has all this fizz, this fuzz sort of sound happening. And the rest of the track is so smooth, or at least once those chords are introduced to the game, we're on such a little roll that this fizzy sounds interesting because to me it stands out so much you know it's it's kind of dry sounding it's it's pretty uh it's pretty like forward sounding in the mix compared to like those chords for example that uh i feel like it 
jumps out at you and it forces you to like reconsider the rest of the loop um, because now we're so into whatever the hell's happening with this fizzy sound that these things keep dancing in the background but we're now focused a little bit more on this green part I mean that in audio sense like your brain and your ears are literally just interested in this fizzy sound because it's forward in the mix and it's just kind of meh meh you know it's just it has that sort of like annoying sound but but it's not annoying here annoying probably wasn't the best word to use but whatever the staticky fizzy sound it's it's standing out so that's just going to keep looping because now, you know, these chords and bass line combos along with the drums. We didn't even talk about the drums. Yeah, it's just a four on the floor kick, clap on the two and the four, hats playing on, what is that, eighth notes? Um, I know. Yep, eighth notes. Very simple drums, very cool. They're just keeping it moving. They're not really doing anything crazy. And that's, that's nice in this case. So, yeah, fizzy sounds happening. We're going to keep it moving. So you'll notice the flute comes in. Now, the flute's going to eventually deliver us this amazing, mystical sort of melody. It's just very... It reminds me of a forest or something. It's very cool. So I just like how it's coming into the game. And it has a little reverb on it. But yeah, it just seems like some simple flute from some synth, you know? That's the type of sound design I'm cool to talk about. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it sounds like it's something like that. And... It just sounds really nice. And this is a common move when you have like a four bar interval and you're about to enter a new situation, like a new four bars, but where you have something else happening. Like in this case, you can see that we have this flute melody playing around now. But before you add, before you start the major playing around, it's nice to give a little teaser at the end of a previous four bar, eight bar interval, whatever. So you'll see this happen a lot. like. For example, the flute entering right before this next sequence of sequence of bars, and where it's going to start doing some crazy stuff. So yeah. So nice. This should have uh, continued on. This should have kept going. But it's such a nice loop. And that's why once this flute enters, we can just listen to it several times. So it looks like we're going to have this playing for 16, uh, about 20 bars. Interesting that we're doing about 20 bars of the flute here because we had about 20 bars at the intro here. So I don't know. That's, that's not the most, in my experience at least, of analyzing tracks, 20 bar intervals. Uh, it's just kind of interesting to note, because oftentimes you'll see, eh, yeah, 20 bars is fine. Maybe I'm overthinking that. But yeah, 20 bar interval. Who cares? So this is really beautiful. So we kind of reached a peak over here in terms of the loop, everything's going. And so now, as is very common, they want to start to bring the energy back down, but do it in a way that's different than a way that's been done before. By that, I mean, we've never had 
the chords playing without the bass line. See the chords, bass line. Ever since the chords have entered up until this point, bass line has always been there. But now it's not really there. It's there a tiny bit there. And so here we're really able to hear those chords. This is because other than the drums, the only thing happening is these chords. So that's just cool because, you know, we're about two and a half minutes into the track and now we're hearing a combination we haven't heard before. And if you've watched a lot of my other videos, you'll see that this happens like this kind of happens in a Jaguar uh, basic channel. You know, this is just this is just so the more and more we do it, the more it's like, wow, everyone's. This is a very common move. So, so if you're struggling with arrangement, you know, uh, you should really watch a bunch of my other videos, because the more you watch, the more you realize how much in common a lot of music has, and also how like just these cool different techniques you can use to make your arrangement doper. So just you know, go watch my videos. Sorry if I'm being aggressive. My basement flooded. Um, so I'm a little bit heated, but in a good way, you know, we're doing a cool track and listening to this track all week. It's, it's really nice, but okay. Pretty simple, y'all. So, you know, we kept, we added the bass back. So we're kind of, again, we're just building up again. We're just building up again. This flute's going to start dancing. The chords are going to drop out. So now this is another new combination. We haven't had flute and bass before without the chords. Again, ever since the flute's been in the game, it's been there with the chords and the bass. So now it's cool that we're getting a touch of it all together, but then quickly the chords are going to drop out and we're going to get just flute and bass which is a new combination only to then get back into a familiar combination again and yeah Right? So again, we're kind of just going up and down a little bit. We're taking some things in, we're taking some things out. I know I've been more detailed in the past about exactly everything that's happening, but with this track, it's very self-explanatory. I mean, if you need the project files, shoot me an email. I have a link in the description to this. But honestly, if y'all wanna, if y'all are really wanting to learn how to do arrangement, just arrange this track. Just do what I just did here. Or, like I said, I'll send them to you if you want. But if you do it yourself, it'll be really handy. And maybe what you could do is get my project files and then use them and make your own. And then you can compare it with mine. And, uh, yeah, because this is just so good. I mean, I really love this track. Like I said, I've been listening to it all week. It's... It's moving and it's impacting some of the stuff I've been making this week, uh, some tracks. I love that everyone's enjoying these videos. Comment below if you're not a producer and you're just watching this for fun, because if so, that's that's great. But I'm just trying to figure out, because if you are a producer, which I would guess most of these people are, but maybe I'm wrong, actually. I bet most, I don't know. Uh, who, what are y'all up to? Who's watching this video? Please comment, introduce yourself, and... Um, 
yeah, I'd love to, you know, just just see who I'm talking to. So, yeah, and y'all feel free to follow me on Instagram and shoot me a message. Yeah, just want to, you know, like like putting these videos out. So there's more coming. And yeah, y'all, thanks for watching. I'll just play out the rest of the track because I feel kind of lame abandoning it like this. But, I mean, we've, we've gone over this before, uh, you know. And you should just watch those videos and, uh, yeah. But here, let's play out this track and just, this track's just awesome. There's also a link to buy it. So stream it, buy it. This track's great. y'all amazing uh der zyklist elektronisch tech zyteco zyteco all right i know this is a weird video thank y'all peace <laughs>